Hey guys, I just wanted to send a quick video letting you guys know what was going on in my life. A quick update, uh, I think a week after my last digital postcard. So this angle that you're seeing at me from is actually a very specifically chosen angle, uh, and that's because this is the zoom angle. So if you were any of my classmates or my friends for the first week of classes, this is how you would have seen me. The reason for that is that we spent the first week in what's called arrival quarantine, which is a pretty strict set of measures uh, to make sure that students aren't out and about and gathering during the first week, while they try to get two negative tests for each student. The idea being that if we can get two consecutive negatives for each student, then we won't have a ton of COVID cases coming on campus uh, and spreading within the first couple weeks before we can do something about it. It's not that big of a deal for me. and In fact, we're going to continue testing twice a week for the rest of the semester, and, and I am excited about that. The test itself is just inside the nose. It's not the brain tickler one, so it's not that invasive. Uh, and then the safety of knowing, the comfort of knowing that that we are safe and, and that as much as we can tell, COVID isn't spreading uncontrollably on the campus is really nice. And, and the fact that it allows us to stay in person is extra nice. During arrival quarantine, we had some virtual events that I attended. My favorite one was bingo night, which is, you know, we played bingo, but there were real prizes and I won the board game bundle, so perfect for me. And I'm excited to play those once we get in person and I'm allowed to visit with my friends. Uh, and in-person has actually started, so we're just now getting into it. We've had in-person classes, which have been so nice. They still don't quite feel normal. They feel more like an indulgence than kind of the normal state of affairs, but they are so nice. I, I don't wanna go back to Zoom now that I've kind of tasted in-person classes again. It's just so much easier to speak up, to ask questions, to have a discussion as a course, and I already feel like I'm engaging better with the material. Uh, and then also with my professors and, and my classmates. The only problem is that it's been very snowy here, and so the 10 minute walk from the hotel to class or, or to lunch has been a little difficult. Uh, it feels a little bit like a hike at times, especially here in the hills, uh, but not too bad overall. It has been beautiful, uh, so seeing the snow is something I really enjoy. And they're beginning to be some in-person activities. So this week we did, uh, they called it Build-A-Bay. So for Valentine's Day, um, you would go in and you'd get uh, a stuffed animal and the stuffing and you'd have to stuff it yourself. And uh, so I got this nice little sea turtle here. Uh, that's what I built last night with some friends. And it was just a nice thing to do. Still distanced, still everybody in masks, but it, it gave us the sense that things were starting to go back to normal and that as much as we're sacrificing things in the college experience to be able to go to class in person, it's not like we have to give up on everything. And so the fact that the school is taking those steps for me is super exciting. Uh, and, and one of the things that, that makes me hopeful for, um, you know, what college life will be like in a year from now, when hopefully things are much, much better. So that's been, that's been my time. Thank you for spending five minutes with me and, and just catching up. Uh, again, if there's anything that you want to know about or stuff that I didn't cover in this, go ahead and text me. Uh, and then at the end here, I'm just going to go ahead and give a quick run through of my classes. Uh, some of my family members wanted to hear about those. I've got four classes this semester, all of which I'm very excited for. The first is Historical Methods. It's the uh, very important class for history majors here at Gettysburg, and it's basically the how to be a historian class. So in the past two weeks, we've been talking about the problems of history, uh, and specifically as it relates to kind of the way that historical interpretation has been a big deal recently, as you think about things like the 1619 Project and then the Counter 1776 Project, issues like those. The other class is a Civil War era studies class called Race and Slavery in the American South. It's with my advisor and it's just been fascinating. I'm learning so much. I'm reading a ton, uh, which is fun for me and, and a lot. Uh, and so I really, really enjoyed that class. And, and I think I'll come out of it with a much better understanding of the things that we kind of always talk about as a given, but never really question deeply. The other two classes that I'm in are an intro to film studies class, which should be a breeze. Uh, it's a, more of a GPA boost uh, than anything else, but it will kind of activate a different part of my brain, which would be very nice. Uh, with the amount of reading that I'm doing from methods and race and slavery, having a creative part of my brain kind of activate will be really helpful. Along a similar vein, I'm taking a environmental mapping course. It focuses on mapping technology, which is extremely important for public history jobs, places like uh, national battlefields or national parks, uh, and it's very math-centered, so it'll get my math credit out. Uh, but then, like I said, also kind of activates a different part of my brain than the interpretive reading stuff that I do with history classes. So those are my four classes. Uh, thank you guys for those who asked about those. I, I want to make sure that you guys get the info you need. So like I said, if you need anything, if you're curious about anything, um, let me know. I'll probably send another digital postcard in about three weeks. 
just as things start to kind of settle in and the routine becomes frankly less exciting for my family back home. All right, love you guys.